How's it going everyone? Today in this video, I'm going to be showing you my 1969 Chevrolet Camaro. Got this car about two years ago and um, came with a smaller big block Chevy engine in it. But over the past couple of months, I'm working on it. Just finished installing a new engine and um, everything is pretty much exactly where I want it now. And pretty much have my dream car now. So I'll go ahead and pop the hood open, show you what's in there now. So now we got a 496 big block Chevy Stroker engine. It's pushing out around 600 horsepower. I uh, haven't dyno tested it yet. Soon, probably in about a week, I'll be doing that. Trying to see what the actual horsepower is to the rear wheels. So going over a couple of components in the engine. Um, pretty much just start at the top. So starting with the carburetor. It is a, it's a Holley double pumper, um, 850 CFM and going down to the intake it's a edelbrock performer rpm series intake and going to the heads these are pro comp heads a lot of reviews say that they're okay but so far with this engine build they've been pretty great and then um the block itself it's a 454 block but it's been bored over with a stroker kit installed as for the cam it is an upgraded camshaft so it does have a, a lopey idle. It's a, obviously a bigger camshaft for more horsepower. And we did go ahead and install the MSD 6AL CD box, as you can see over there. It kind of has a custom mounting bracket. And then uh, there's a voltmeter right there as well, so you can always see what the voltage is when the engine's running. Going off to the side over here, we did go ahead with a serpentine style kit that I found on eBay. Works really good, it's, um, it's eight ribs, so everything works good on that. You don't have to worry about uh, the belt slipping off at all. And then the alternator is a Mechman 240 amp alternator. It's uh, powering the pretty much everything throughout the car, obviously, but most importantly, the dual 12 inch uh, DC audio level three subwoofers that are in the back. I'll go ahead and show you those soon. And then over here you can see the MSD Pro Billet Distributor. And then for the radiator it is a 4 row Champion Radiator. It's been cooling the engine off to around 150 degrees. So that's, uh, that's more than enough. So it's pretty much cooling it perfect. One thing I forgot to mention, we did have to go with the um, dual diaphragm brake booster as you can see right here. The original one was too big and couldn't clear the valve covers because uh, these valve covers are just a little bit too big. We also went ahead and made um, some custom spark plug wire holders that you can see right here. It's holding them nice and out of the way from the headers. And then these are the Excel ceramic spark plug wires. Moving to the front of the car, we did, um, we have the Detroit Speed front headlights installed along with some LED JW speaker LEDs. So the, um, these doors are open and they're all electronic now they're no longer the vacuum canister style ones. Now moving into the car, we do now have um, an electronic remote. So just to get into the car, just a simple, there you go. And before the, the car came with a Muncie M21 four speed, but now I have the Tremec TKO 600. Now I have that extra fifth gear for highway speeds. It's a lot better. Since we are in the car already, I'll go ahead and kind of give you a tour of the inside. These are the Pro Touring Scat Pro Rally seats. Uh, they're made to mimic the original interior design of the 1969 Camaro with the deluxe interior. As you can see, it has um, a lot of bolstering, so it keeps you in there nice and snug when you're going around corners. And it does still match the back seats. 